Uh, it was a good day. I uh, thought we ran the ball efficiently, uh, made some good plays in the past game, converted some third downs, uh, got points when we needed to. It was a good job, um, you know, going into half with points and then coming out with points. Felt like that was a good point in the game. But overall, felt like we did a good job. Um, huge team win. Yeah, I felt pretty good today. I thought, um, again, like we said, we executed well. Uh, guys were in the right spots, and we moved the ball efficiently um, a lot of part of the day. And um, that usually um, turns into points. And so when you can get points in a game like that, it's kind of going back and forth. It's always good. Uh, very confident. I, I think I, uh, I train for that, and I make sure that I work, you know, to keep some of that. And um, I think it's big when plays break down. It's important to be able to extend plays. I think it's really beneficial for the offense, and you never know when you'll need it. So it's always good to train it, and um, it's good to have. Yeah, it was a, a, a nice play by Marv. Um, he did a good job of getting to the corner, and we executed well. Uh, we've been practicing and repping that play uh, quite a lot, and they bumped it off and had some space, and we were able to get a touchdown. But um, you know, overall, it just felt like it was good to get out there and throw some completions, see a new defense, and um, ultimately just get out there and compete. Did you get the ball by any chance? Uh, Marv gave it back to me, but I ended up handing it off to somebody else. Oh, okay. And then uh, what, the play that kind of got you going was the one to Cortland where you scrambled and threw off your yeah. off foot there. Talk about yeah, that was a big play, a uh, big third down conversion there. Uh, Court did a good job of um, making his guy, um, you know, he, he kind of fell off and he had a good one-on-one, and um, he did a good job of being aware of the sideline. And I looked up, he was open, and those are always the good ones when you see an open guy. Um, it's just all about getting it to him at that point, but that was a good conversion. Well, it's really important on those drives when you want to go drive for drive, you got to do well on third down. So I thought we did well there. And um, really, it's just staying out of the, the long chunk plays. We didn't really have negatives. Um, it's hard when you get behind the chains. But it was good to have uh, good third down conversions. And then when we got in the red zone, um, really all but the first and then that two-minute drive, we were able to get the ball in the end zone uh, when we had some time. So it's always good to trade touchdowns for field goals. I could tell it was a little bit fast, faster. It was uh, definitely more professional. I mean, the guys were in the right spots. They're disguising. They're doing well. They're where they're supposed to be. Um, but, you know, I, I felt very, you know, calm and relaxed back there. It was just a game. They were still in cover three and quarters. And, man, I mean, it's the same defense. And so you just got to figure out which one they're in and then execute the play that's called. But I thought um, we did a great job with our, with our play calls today. We, we stayed in rhythm. Um, we ran the ball uh, efficiently, and that's always nice. And so... Um, overall, it was a very productive day. Sean Payton uh, seems to hate sacks. Hate when his quarterbacks take sacks. Um, one reason why he drafted you is you didn't take many in college. What do you say are some of the keys on that besides offensive line play? You know, of not taking the sacks. Yeah, it's really important not to take sacks. It's all about knowing where your outlets are, knowing when you're hot, um, knowing, you know, having a good feel for the pocket, and it's just being on time, being in rhythm, and. You know, if you're one or two's not there, get into three in a quick manner. And I always say, you know, I feel like I can take a three hitch and throw and get the ball out without um, them physically being able to get to me. You know, I think it's all about a quarterback's timing and um, offensive line did a great job today keeping us up. And um, they're going to continue to work to master picking up blitzes and making sure that we're on the same page of, of protections. But all that is is work throughout the week. But it was good to get out there in a real game and fill that pocket and um, you know, like we say, just get the ball out in time, and usually you can avoid sacks. Anything stand out to you? Anything stand out to you that you, know, you want to get out and improve upon or have another chance for next week? Well, I think uh, maybe just a few of those completion plays that are called, finding one, um, and just like I said, staying on schedule, staying in rhythm. Um, it's good to scramble at times, but at the same time, you always want to find the happy medium. You know, if it's there, you want to hit it, and so it's just going to be continued practice and continued reps. Um, guys are timing with the receivers, um, you know, plays with the guys. And then uh, at the end of the day, that's what you practice for. And that's why you go week after week just trying to get better. Right, so thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.